everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing really well so today's video is about postpartum hair loss something that i know extremely well as i lost so much hair after having oliver so i have got five tips on how i grew my hair back into a healthy condition and i just thought it would be excellent to share it with you as so many of us suffer with it. So I didn't lose actually any hair until Oliver was about four months um, and that's when I stopped breastfeeding and it was the hair loss. So I was getting in the shower, there was just massive clumps coming out. I was getting into bed and the hair was just unreal. Like the fact that I was like having to um, get one of the rollers to de-hair my bed um, my pillows, it was just everywhere. I was constantly hoovering everywhere because the hair was just falling out dramatically. So, like I say, I've got five tips that I think has really helped with my um, hair growth. And I thought there was no better way to share it than with you guys. And let's get straight into it. So, tip number one hair conditioning treatments. I now do a hair conditioning treatment at least once a week. Um, and I use the Rimmel All-in-One. It has got 10 benefits. It is absolutely fantastic. The smell is great. It strengthens hair. It deeply nourishes. It leaves your hair super soft and it has made a massive difference to my hair since I've been using it. I've just got out of the shower, um, I washed my hair, uh, shampooed my hair twice, and then what I did is just took the moisture out of my hair with a towel. Um, I know people say my microfiber cloth, I think, but to me, just a nice towel, no rubbing, sensation just nice, squeeze, just a little bit of moisture, because you still want your hair to be damp. So I would really recommend this one. This has really helped um, just repair my hair as well into good condition. And tip number two, drink plenty of water. Now I know that sounds crazy because we're talking about hair, but getting enough water into your system, what is good on the inside shows on the outside. So I do try and drink as much. This is still a work in progress because sometimes I just, don't drink enough water um so i do try to keep like a couple of bottles in the fridge of nice cold water tip number three is using a good heat protector on your hair now i've been using rimmel way back oh god maybe about five years i literally cannot go a day without it well i say a day a wash without it i use it every time i get out of the shower as soon as i my uh, towel dry my hair i spray this in even if i'm not blow drying or straightening my hair using any heat on it i just use it it feeds your hair gives it thickness smoothness hair color protector from um uva it's just brilliant i do highly recommend that so that is tip number three. Tip number four. So I have been currently taking my vitamins, hair, skin and nails for approximately five months now since I started losing my hair. And honestly, since I've been taking these, I have no just noticed a massive difference. So my actual hair growth now... Um, and this is in five months, is probably to about just under my eye, just, yeah, just under my eyebrow. It's like a miniature fringe, but because I blend it in with my hair when I blow dry it, you know, you don't really see them. Um, it, I did have to go through a stage where they were like literally sticking up <laughs> because it was like growing up, but now it's become heavier. It's like dropping back down, but I do recommend these. These are gummies as well. Um, so you just take two. They are, woo! So you take two gummies every day. It's just like sweets. I do have to tell the kids that they can't eat them though. <laughs> um, but they're really good and super tasty. And they have such a wide range of other products as well. But for me personally, 
my nails are stronger, my skin's better, but most of all, I have noticed like the growth in my hair. Maybe it's a coincidence, I don't know. But like I say, I would recommend investing in some good vitamins to help your hair grow. Tip number five. So this is like two tips together. So find yourself a good hairbrush. Now, I swear by the paddle brush. So for instance, when I get out of the shower now, I do try to let my hair dry about 50% before I even think about starting to brush it. Now this is easier said than done because you naturally want to brush your hair when you've wet it, but I don't know if you can ever, you've ever experienced it where you're brushing your hair and you can hear it snapping. You can hear, and obviously we're trying to build hair, not break hair. Um, so I do allow my hair to dry 50%. Now, obviously, if you're going to work and things like that, you just don't have time. Or if you're going out and you've just washed your hair. So I use the Dyson. I just think that is the best hair dryer I've ever used. Um, I, God, I just love her. She's changed my life. I've had her for about two years and she literally changed my life. <laughs> She's my best friend. Um, so yeah, I just waft it over, let it dry maybe 50% and then I go in with the hairbrush. Now, I start at the bottom and I just have like little, just l gradually building myself up to the root instead of taking it from the root all the way down and hearing that breakage and snappage it's just no good for your hair um so like i say i just start working at the bottom nice and slowly gentle uh, strokes through my hair and then obviously once it's all done and there's no knots or anything like that then obviously you can go from root to tip and um it just makes a massive difference um i would say this comes into the hairbrush so i now use grips and i also use the a uh, um like the rubber bands these like plastic e bands um for putting my hair up now other bobbles are just so harsh on your hair they snap you, you must have bobbles at home that have got hair wrapped around them where it's like pulled it out of your hair where these are super easy now i've got the care conditioning treatment on at the moment soaking in it's been on for about an hour now um, but these are the bubbles. You can get them absolutely anywhere. Superdrug. Um, I even think you can get them from like Primark and things like that. But yeah, really, I would invest in getting some good uh, hair bubbles and grips. Like they, they've got so many grips out there nowadays. Like I've got this one, which is just a normal grip that I kind of use at home and then I've got this one that I normally wear you know if I'm going out it's just a little bit more nicer if I just don't want my hair in my face or I'm dealing with the kids or anything like that kids parties game changer <laughs> so yeah so I would really recommend that um now I'm not a fan of okay this is tip number six six wasn't coming but here's tip number six I don't believe in not washing your hair. Now, I used to be regard I used to wash my hair like regardless. Like every day I would wash it, dry it, use no heat protector in it. Like literally makes my skin crawl now thinking that's what I used to do. Um but then on the other hand, I don't want to leave it for days and days and days and days like when people say I haven't washed my hair for 7 days. And I'm like that's no good for your hair. Would you not have a shower for 7 days? No. So I, my concept is I always wash my hair on a Sunday night so I wash my hair on a Sunday I dry it straighten it whatever I need to do and then it's okay for Monday and then I always pop in some dry shampoo Monday night the amount of people that I see spraying dry shampoo when the hair's greasy it's defeated the object. You need to do it before. So say for instance, if you know you're getting into bed and you know that you're gonna wake up with greasy hair, spray this in the night before. I'm telling you now, I want you to comment down below if this works because it's gonna work. It's just an absolute game changer. Um, so then maybe on Tuesday evening, I may wash my hair. So I've washed it Sunday, had Monday off, had Tuesday day off, if I can stretch it to Wednesday, I will do, but 
by Wednesday, my hair's starting to look a bit grubby and I don't really like it. So, yeah. So, you know, I wash it every two days, every every three days, something like that. Um, and I really think that is helping because you're not constantly putting all that heat in, heat on. You're not going through the process of brushing it. It's just, it's just like giving your hair a bit of a break. Um, so, yeah. So that's everything, guys. I really hope that my five slash six tips of he will help you you know leave me a message down below if it's helped you i want to know um and obviously if you like this kind of content please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe because it would be lovely to have you all here because i feel like i want to build that family i've got loads of christmas content coming i've got a holiday vlog coming which the time you see this i think we go on the tuesday we go away so this is uploaded on the sunday and then we go away on the tuesday to lans sunny lanzarote just for a week just to chill out it'll be a chill out video um but yeah i just want to say thank you my lovelies and uh, have a fantastic week and I shall see you next Sunday. Bye, guys.